is this strange odor today? What is it? This scent that I'm on. I almost, almost think it was some kind of man cub. Mowgli belongs to my pack, Jerkon. Mowgli. All right, guys, our tiger is a little cuter than uh, than old Shere Khan. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted a real quick video today, just jumping in and showing you. I'm sure you guys, if you've uh, if you've not seen it yet, they have revealed the Bengal tiger earlier today. And uh, it is falls just so happens on International Tiger Day. And I was telling Red Mist and a couple people, I was like, man, I want to believe that the tiger will be revealed today, but now everybody is so following what the international this is, you know, uh, orangutans, tigers, lions, International Flamingo Day, which everybody's pointing out that, you know, that was skipped. But I was like, I think that I, I want this to be Tiger Day. But I think Frontier, knowing that we've all kind of turned over to that now, I just, I, I was hoping that it would happen, but I wasn't getting my hopes up for it happening. And then lo and behold, right around lunchtime today, my time, um, they announced it. So yeah, we've got the Bengal Tiger. Very, very cool. Um, we also noticed that it, it seems to even, um, it, like the, the model, I think looks great. But it also too kind of has that planet universe, you know, and when I say, from now on, when I say planet universe, I mean like the planet coaster world and the planet zoo world. It almost has a little bit of planet universe liberties to it. See how he kind of looks he's like that look in his face is almost a little human planko like just has a lot of character um and still retains a lot of detail i'm not too sure about the claws sticking out but i'm sure that's just you know for the basis of this model um because we know they kind of don't lay around with their claws sticking out like that all the time but um as far as you know just for this um for this reveal um, definitely doesn't bother me too much. The, the ear flicks are great. The little bit of the, the tail flick is awesome. He even, if you'll notice at the, at the end of their actual little shot here, which was only a couple seconds long, you know, obviously we're just kind of repeating it here, but, um, repeating it, <laughs> so, but, uh, the tongue kind of reaches out to the left side of his mouth and gives a quick lick. So I think that is pretty cool. There's kind of been a little bit of talk about people are wondering if the animations will get a little too repetitive or how many different variations there are I don't think I'll be down um, I, I don't think I'll be focused in that close on the animals for that amount of an extended period of time to notice the animation loop so I think that might be a weird thing to worry about I think if you're just casually um, you know watching and you're playing the game I think that the, the all the different little the little ticks and the little twitches and the animations and stuff that they come up with. Um, I, I do not think it will look repetitive to us. Um, really interested to see what the gait of the of the tiger is. You know how they kind of have that, like that bouncy kind of gait when they're just kind of, you know, not sprinting but not walking. Uh, be real neat to see that. Really cool to hopefully we get to see what the cubs look like. And uh, yeah, just I, I've already got tons of ideas for tiger enclosures. One of my biggest wants on my animal list um, probably doesn't come as a big surprise to you guys because, you know, tigers are pretty much a staple in zoos nowadays. Uh, I was reading up and even on the, uh, the, little, the little Twitter release that uh, Planet Zoo did, um, this is one of the widest ranging, the... the uh, kind of like the largest numbered species of tiger and even really I mean you th it sounds kind of bad that like I think they said 2300 is the number in the wild and they said that is a comeback number so that is kind of still pretty sad that that we're we're to a point with the Bengal tigers that 2300 is a is a good growing sustainable number you know I just you would think it would be a lot more than that but I guess just with their with the shrinkage of their territory and actually where they inhabit now, I guess they, the way they put it, that that is quite a lot of tigers as far as looking at their, their natural habitats go. But, you know, that'll be another cool thing. We can kind of learn as this game goes on and progresses and, uh, you know, 
kind of just keep up with our Zoopedia facts and stuff like that. I'm sure that the Tigers will make it to Friday's Zoopedia round. And, uh, but yeah, we'll just kind of have to, kind of have to see how that goes. But I, uh, like I said, far, as far as the enclosures and stuff go, I cannot wait to get in here and design Tigers. I remember when I was, when I was growing up in Zephyr Hills, Florida, they used to take us to Tampa to Lowry Park Zoo, and it used to have a famous white bangle tiger and uh, i used to sit there they like when they would take us there on on field trips and stuff i they would literally have to drag me away from the tiger enclosure that was just uh I, that was just really really awesome matter of fact all of my florida field trips are awesome like my little brother and stuff like i'll hear my mom and them talking about field trips for him like when i grew up in florida they took us to lowry park zoo Bush Gardens, Disney World, you know, um, Universal Studios, Kennedy Space Center. My little brother up here, like a field trip to them is like the Walmart parking lot. I'm like, your all's field trips suck. But anyway, so anyways, guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. But just wanted to um, let you know if you've kind of been out of the loop today that, yes, the Bengal Tiger has been confirmed. So let me know your thoughts down below on this. And uh, don't forget to Give me a like if you end up enjoying this video and helps push the video out. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See you.